Welcome back to Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin. Now we're joining GSM Outdoors Tim Schnell and world champion turkey caller Paul Butsky on the turkey hunt down in Brackettville, Texas. We got up in the morning and uh, went out to a special place that uh, Wade was kind enough to share with us and um, Paul got out there and uh, did some calling and, we, and we, he could hear the birds on the roost. We got in early and uh, Paul could hear him uh, out there and they were talking this morning and the temperature was a little warmer and uh, Paul got behind me. They put me under a nice tree and we had a great setup. And uh, as they started coming down, Paul was, uh, you know, doing this maestro thing and making it all come together and singing with his call. It was a beautiful spot. There was like a bluff and we dropped off and got set up down there in this bottom. Turkeys were roosted probably 300 yards away. You could hear them gobbling. It was a little breezy, so it was real faint. But uh, we set up and, you know, I started calling real aggressive. And, you know, you can hear a lot of hen talk. And a lot of times when you hear a lot of hen talk, you, you know, you could be a lot more aggressive with your calling. Turkey hunting, you gotta kind of play it by ear on how a turkey's acting to your call or how hens are acting to what's going on out there. In this particular case, the hens uh, were talking a lot, so I did a lot of talking and actually called the hens up. I could hear hens coming as I was talking to them. And uh, lo and behold, the gobblers were up and bringing up the rear. Beautiful bird. Uh, you know, there was two or three gobblers that were strutting. They got behind some bushes and uh, I was hoping those hens would kind of cut out to the left, and eventually they did. I mean, we had hens all around us, uh, close, uh, almost too close, because you get busted by a hen, I mean, it gigs up, it's over. We had a big group of hens come in. I even saw a bearded hen and something I've never seen before. And we had one hen get probably within, oh, I'd say 10, 12 feet of us. And she started to get a little spooky. And Paul started talking to her real sweet and she calmed right down and it, the hens kept moving around and the toms started coming and you could hear them gobbling. And, and they just were hanging out on a little bit of the fringe. And then uh, Paul started uh, purring and all sorts of things. And next thing you know, those toms came into play. I got a, a, a really uh, lucky shot at about 40 some yards and I was just getting ready to go and there were two toms and there was one on the left and one on the right and uh, Paul at the last second said the one on the right's the one and, and so I switched over to the one on the right and put him down and he was the boss. <sighs> <laughs> I was just waiting for oh, that ball. A little nervous, I was afraid they are going to go back the other way but all I was waiting for was you to tell me the one on the right. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice oh, bird. Hey man, that was a great job. Tim, that was awesome. That was so much fun. Glad to be a part of it. That's a great reel. The spurs on him. I got to tell you, Paul, that's probably the most traditional hunt I've had on a turkey. Isn't that great? Um, you know, you were with me when my only other turkey, and uh, this one, you know, they're out there gobbling and going at it and having fun. You really had it going. We Paul, had a lot of awesome. competition on it. We had to <laughs> get the hens, you know, kind of coming this way, and then, you know, he quit gobbling for his time, and then. He gobbled, he was, he was close, but it was. Really appreciate it, man. It's it, never, it never gets old. Every time, as much as I do this, it never gets old. You know, being out with the maestro, man, it was awesome. Good, <laughs> Thanks, great Tim. job, man. Thank great you. Fun. Thanks. Now we get to go show them off. <laughs>